Hello beautiful beings, my name is Larissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here, it means so much to me. In today's video, if you've been following along on my journey, uh, you probably noticed that I was offline for a few months and I wanted to go into my journey, into solitude, into going deep within myself and the transformational journey that I experienced during this last death and rebirth cycle as I like to refer to it as. It definitely wasn't my first and it definitely won't be my last because I do love to fully embrace the cyclical nature of the human experience and knowing that there's always going to be ups and downs and the only constant is change. And I'm really familiar with my shadow side at this point in my life, really lovingly inviting in all the wisdom and guidance that it has to show and offer me. So I'm definitely not afraid to dive deep into inner work and I'm quite familiar with it. And I really just see it as a beautiful blessing and experience that we have as humans to experience the polarity of all the beauty and amazing uplifting experiences as well as the more intense and transformative experiences that kind of shake up our lives but also bring a lot of blessings a lot of evolution especially when we can learn to tune in to a higher perspective and seeing things from a the view of the fact that you are a creator of your reality and you are not a victim to it and that's really where you can shift your life and shift into a higher experience on this human realm. The key thing for me in this journey of life is to constantly just surrender to the call of the universe and its beautiful guidance. And recently about, uh, I think I was offline for about three or four months. I was just feeling called to go inward. There was so many signs in my life that were saying, hey, it's time for a period of solitude to sit with yourself, to heal and rebalance and nourish yourself energetically, physically, spiritually, and really just come back into harmony so that you can show up as your best self for the world. And I really just listened to that calling and went with it. It was also just harmoniously in tune with the cycles of nature coming into fall and winter and I was just really feeling called into that cocoon season, hibernation, death and rebirth, whatever you want to call it, but it, it was calling my name and there was no denying that I needed to get offline, stop projecting so much of my energy externally and really pour that energy inward into deeper healing and self-discovery. and. It's always just been such a beautiful, profound experience anytime I take the time to really just sit with myself, dive deep, get to know myself on a deeper level, and um, see what kind of energies are sitting within me that need to be moved, healed, loved, and brought into wholeness. It was really a time for me to get much clearer on my vision for the future, what I am creating in this life in regards to my lifestyle, my business, my health, and my relationships, and to gain a greater inspiration for how I want to show up in the world and serve as my highest self. And definitely stay till the end of this video to hear about my biggest insight on a very intimate level that was the most profound wisdom that I, I guess, unlocked on this journey in this most recent experience. It took a while to uncover that deep wisdom, but once it came to the forefront, it really just unlocked the whole purpose of what I was going through, the why, and basically then I became so grateful for this strange time that I went through because I got to see the whole purpose behind it. and. There's always going to be a reason for what you're going through, the good and the bad. And we have to just surrender to the knowing that the universe always knows what's best for us. Way more than we could ever imagine for ourselves. We might make plans for the future and for our life, but 
the universe is always going to have our back and take us in the right direction. So even when things fall apart that you were really hoping for and planning for, just trust that something better is coming to you and things are always unfolding in perfect timing. But yeah, if you had been following me for a while, you might have noticed that at the beginning of the year 2023, I disappeared off of social media for a few months in the beginning of that year as well. And that's when I was really going through a difficult time in my life. Basically, everything that I had been working towards in my life at that time and these experiences that I was sharing with others and, and building a life with um, a particular partner and um, just making plans with different people in my life, family members, friends, all of that kind of just dissipated at one point all these plans that I had been making and this life I was creating and it was very startling at the time and I took some time for myself back in the beginning of 2023 to heal from a quite traumatic series of events that unfolded one after the other and you know after I felt like I was back in balance and harmony and feeling good I got back online I got back to my life, to traveling, to exploring this beautiful earth. And I felt really good emotionally and was ready to take the, ne the next steps to creating my new life. And so that's exactly what I started doing. But at some point the universe had to step in and say, hey, actually, you're not quite done healing from all of that. Um, we want you to go inward and work through even more and uncover even more to transform within yourself internally so that you can create a better experience externally. And so this last period of taking time away from the outside world wasn't like a difficult experience emotionally. I wasn't going through a difficult time, but it was more so just the awareness and acceptance of the fact that I was transforming. I was really like in a cocoon, dissolving into the nothingness, just dissolving my ego and all of my current reality, my past realities, and just letting everything go to step into an even higher level, a higher version of myself than I could ever imagine. So once the signs started showing up from the universe to go inward, I definitely took the time to just say to myself, I'm not gonna distract myself, I'm not gonna keep myself busy, I'm gonna let my friends and family know I'm taking time for me, to go inward, to sit in solitude. I'm not gonna be making plans. I'm getting offline. I'm just focusing on me, focusing on what needs to come through, what the shadows want to surface and show me that I need to shed light on, that I need to reprogram in my reality. So the first sign from the universe that things were out of harmony and out of balance in my physical and energetic being was quite a little bit like shocking for me to experience at first because it wasn't something I had experienced in a long time and if you know anything about my journey I come from a past of just you know living like everybody else standard American diet and I was going through a lot when I was younger emotionally dealing with depression anxiety I had dealt with a lot of health issues insulin resistance and acne and Epstein-Barr virus and just getting sick a lot. So this health and wellness journey has completely transformed my life and I haven't really had to experience many of those symptoms for a really long time. For the most part, I can say that this diet that I follow, this lifestyle of health and wellness has really helped me heal deeply on all of those levels and I'm so, so grateful for it. And I'm also so, so aware that it's not just one aspect of health and wellness that will fix those things. It's not just diet or just focusing on your emotional well-being or just fitness. You have to really incorporate all of those things because they all matter. And so since I had gone through a lot of emotional turbulence at the beginning of last year and I did a pretty good job at working through it. And even though I thought I was done working through it, I guess the best way I could put it is that there was still a lot of stagnant energy from those experiences that was left inside of my body. And if it wasn't for my body being so great at communicating with me 
then I probably wouldn't have even noticed. So I am really grateful that I have a very sensitive body. I am a very sensitive person in general, sensitive to other people's energy and sensitive to environments, to things that are difficult that we have to experience in this modern world, like air pollution and chemicals, you know, like chemical cleaners, chemicals in the food. Um, I'm really sensitive to just any food that isn't you know, perfectly designed for the human body, which is why I eat the way I eat, because it makes me feel my absolute best. And it's really, my body will always tell me when something isn't right for it. And I'm grateful for that. I'm really grateful to be sensitive in that kind of way, even though some that are like me might see it as a curse to have to eat so clean and be so particular with living a healthy lifestyle. I see it as a blessing because it forces me to up level. It forces me to be my best self. And that's really what I'm here to do, my purpose in life to help other people evolve and be their best selves as well. I get to be the example and thanks to my body being so sensitive and always telling me when something is off, usually through physical symptoms like my skin breaking out or having a difficult time with my digestion or um, feeling a little bit more stressed Whatever it may be, I can tune into what I'm going through and see what my body is trying to tell me where I need to come back into harmony and balance. So in this recent experience, I was getting back to my life, traveling after, you know, feeling like I did a good job healing through that traumatic experience. And as I'm just going about continuing to live my life and enjoying life, all of a sudden for the first time since I've been vegan, my skin started breaking out. and it was pretty bad. It was like, you know, pretty out of the blue and it's something I hadn't dealt with in a long time. And so I was a bit surprised and thinking like, what is going on here? Like, I haven't changed my diet. I'm still eating, you know, fruit based, high raw vegan. Like, hmm, maybe I need to go back on fully raw. Maybe I need to do like a juice cleanse or something like that. Is it parasites? Is it because I've been traveling and I, my body keeps having to adjust to um, new environments using different, like showering in different water? Is it the stress from constantly traveling? Like I wasn't entirely sure and I couldn't pinpoint exactly one specific thing that would have been causing it. Um, I think it was more so an accumulation of, like I said, the trauma that I might have still energetically had some blocks going on in my energetic body from those previous experiences in the beginning of the year as well as all those things I just mentioned and as I did the internal work I started uncovering more things that could have been related to causing that but I just focused on cleaning up my lifestyle on all levels mind body spirit as much as possible since I didn't know exactly what was the cause of having these old symptoms come back up into my life again but I really had to accept that healing is not linear. Once again, even though I was eating and have, have been eating for many, many years, a very clean diet, it's not always gonna be the only thing that is going to keep you healthy. You're gonna have to focus on health holistically on all levels. And even when you're doing a great job on every single level, there's gonna be certain external experiences that are gonna be out of your control. And you just have to lovingly accept everything that comes your way in life and just really see every opportunity as something to learn and grow from and to uncover more about yourself. And so that's what I took the time to do. And I experienced so many synchronicities through this experience. I ended up being guided to read some books from Dolores Cannon and I ended up reading more books during that time than I had ever read in my entire life in like the span of time. I think I finished about like eight of her books and it helped me feel so grateful for this human experience and seeing how we really are collectively evolving and how our DNA is upgrading. And I think that was also a huge key component that I needed to receive in order to understand what I was going through and once again, why I am such a sensitive being. And yeah, like just accepting that I'm really not perfectly designed for this modern world with all the toxicity and it's a good thing I don't fit in and the more and more that humans like me that our DNA evolves and upgrades it's being programmed for a higher reality where we don't have to deal with the chemicals in the food and the chemicals in the air 
and the pollution and the corruption, all of that, like we're creating a new reality and our sensitivity is forcing us to create that new reality and step into it because we're not designed to handle the harsh reality that we're all living in right now and co-creating. So we need to step up and step into co-creating a better reality. Through this, I have really just learned to lovingly accept that I am here for a higher purpose and it's okay that I can't eat the same food as everybody else and live the same way as everybody else because I really am meant to discover ways to live in a higher vibration and help share that with others and connect with others that want the same type of reality that I do and it's just so beautiful when I learn to see it that way it just makes the ups and downs so much easier to to move through and I'm just so grateful to my higher self for always being there for me and pushing me to be the best self I can be it does not let me slack it does not let me get off track for too long without realizing like something is off and I need to do better because it's just such a great source of accountability for me really and yeah I just see it as my best friend the universe my higher self just there always guiding me and when we can all learn to tap into that we none of us have to feel lonely none of us have to feel disconnected we can all remember that we are all one we are all connected we are all tapped into that same source of wisdom that can guide us and give us love and protection and it's just so beautiful so yeah once these physical symptoms started coming up into my reality my skin breaking out and I was also feeling a bit more fatigued than usual and I just wasn't feeling like myself and it just hit me that I needed to do this internal work I was being guided to go inward and I was you know fully dedicated I committed you know to doing my daily meditations as usual but I was also incorporating yoga twice a day I was doing breath work energy healings sound healings I did a session with a hypnotherapist. I shifted my diet back to 100% raw and really refined it as much as possible, really being dedicated to following food combining rules and not eating too late at night and taking out chocolate and any forms of caffeine, which I usually don't do caffeine ever, but occasionally I was doing like green tea, black tea. So I took that out, basically just focusing on all the ways that I could get my hormones into full harmony and balance. I did some juice cleansing, I did a parasite cleanse, and like I mentioned, I was just really reading a lot of books and soaking up a lot of knowledge and spending almost like little to no time on screens and just, you know, using books as a form of entertainment and to consume knowledge rather than how most of us do nowadays where we're on the phone or watching TV or a movie. I mean, documentaries are great too, but just spending less time on screens felt really good and it was a really good reset. All of these things, it was like a mini retreat for myself, a health and wellness retreat that I threw myself for a few months and it really, really helped. It, it helped me dive deep. Um, I wasn't just trying to get my skin back in harmony because like I said like I'm aware that my body it's it's always going to send me physical signals of things going on internally and I knew I wasn't doing this just to heal my skin but it was more so to heal the underlying issue that was causing me to break out because I really didn't have any specific reason why I should have been except for all those accumulative things that I mentioned but I had been living you know an exciting and spontaneous and adventurous life for years at this point without my skin having issues and so yeah it was really I really still to this day don't have one particular thing that I can say caused that I think you know it was definitely more so the emotional side the accumulation of just staying busy and doing all these things and not letting myself go inward enough as well as this last point that I really wanted to touch on because this was I think the biggest takeaway I got from the experience basically that led up to the point where I decided I needed to go on this little solitude journey for a while as well as 
going through it and then what I have realized after the experience. And yeah, so this is going to be a bit of an intimate detail about my life, but I think it's really important to share because I really do think it could help a lot of other people. The main thing was I started to realize I hadn't been living in alignment to my purpose and highest goals in some ways. And this more so was focused on the goals that I have in regards to relationships and the goals that I want to create for, for my future as far as where I would like to live, how I would like to live, and co-creating a life with somebody with a romantic partner. And there was certain unconscious patterns that I kept repeating in my reality that was keeping me from fully achieving and manifesting these specific goals. And so yeah, I'm just, I felt so grateful once I finally realized this main aspect that I was blind to. And sometimes we need certain experiences to hold a light to our shadows and show us certain things that we're not seeing. And so this whole kind of journey of uncovering this certain aspect of myself. It started a few years ago when I discovered sacred sexuality, Tantra, and I started to become interested in this topic and this way of experiencing intimacy or it's not even just about intimacy, it's like a whole way of seeing life. And it really has up-leveled and transcended the way that I view intimacy and now the level of sacredness and respect that I have for that form of connecting with another person. And I really want to share more about this topic of sacred sexuality with you all here in future videos because it has been such a life transformational topic that I have dove into. It's helped so much with my spiritual evolution and I'd love to share certain practices and techniques that I've learned and it's just an amazing way to unlock higher levels of your intuition, psychic abilities, stronger abilities to manifest, and to call in higher levels of partnership and higher levels of yourself to just respect yourself more and have a higher respect for intimacy. But once you step into exploring this practice and this way of living, it is very powerful. It takes a much higher level of respect for intimacy and one at least in my experience once you dive down that path you can't just carry on and share your intimate energy in any sort of careless way without consequence but in reality any consequences are just greater guidance and so you're never actually like punished or anything like that it's just energetically out of alignment and the universe will try to get you back into alignment with your higher self and that is something that I have experienced for sure. Sometimes we can't recognize the unconscious patterns that we are stuck in and sometimes the universe needs to show up and say hey we really need you to look at this and work on it and I went through an experience that gave me a beautiful realization that I need to be much more discerning with who I share my energy with and really allow a person to earn my trust before I go to an intimate level with them. Instead of just assuming the best and having, you know, my rose colored glasses on like usual, but it can be really difficult for me because I'm just such an open hearted, loving, trusting person and I don't want to lose that aspect of myself. So it's really for me about finding balance between being myself and being open hearted and trusting and loving but also having a very high level of respect and just knowing that it's better if I allow someone to put in effort to really earn my trust, to really make me feel safe before I share that type of experience with somebody. Especially as a woman, we are more vulnerable in that state. We need to feel in a very safe place, a, a place where we feel very trusting to let go and then we have better experiences when it comes to connecting with someone on that level when we can fully surrender and feel at peace with the experience and open our heart fully and just connect deeply without fear because our bodies really go through a lot in that experience and we're vulnerable to going through even more physically with our body if anything were to happen through that act which is 
predominantly the whole reason that act exists is to create a new life. So to be in a place where our partner has made the energetic commitment to display that they are there for us no matter what happens, you know, they are there for us for our future family if anything were to happen, that to me is a very sacred way to share that experience. Even if you're not planning to procreate yet and you're not ready for that, still the energy of the fact that it could happen and that you know you will be there for one another through that experience I think for me it's really important and that's been my realization and experience and accepting that that's the reality so I've entered this new phase of my life where I have a new perspective since I started incorporating practices of sacred sexuality into my life but you know I was still operating with old programming and expecting to get a different result but that was not happening i had to change the programming change my unconscious patterning to get more in alignment with the reality that i do want to create and this way of seeing things can help us get better results in all all aspects of our lives such as business health etc shortly before i took the time away from being online and before my physical symptoms started coming up I had been hanging out with a friend of mine who was going through a difficult time and we were just friends but eventually things did become intimate at one point and I had told this person too like I really wasn't sure about connecting in that way because you know they were going through a difficult time and I knew that they weren't available emotionally but eventually things did get to that point and I fully I'm responsible for making that decision and I'm grateful for the experience. It was, you know, a lovely person, a lovely experience. I have no regrets, but I wasn't listening to my higher self that was saying, hey, like, because I even told them to, like, I really only connect with someone in this way at this point in my life if I'm in a serious relationship, if there's, you know, this lifelong type of connection that we're working towards, whether it works out that way or not. But if the commitment's not there, then there's no reason for me to engage in intimacy with this person. And I communicated that with them and I knew that that's what I needed to follow, but I ended up not following through and not committing to myself. And later on, I realized this quote came to me and it was, if I can't commit to myself, then how do I expect to manifest a partner that will be fully committed to me for this lifelong experience that I want to create? Because I do believe in lifelong partnership and that is what I am calling it at this point in my life. But that was so just key for me. That was like one of my biggest takeaways from this whole experience that I went through, this whole transformation. It was really about this commitment I needed to have for myself and this level of respect that I needed to have for myself and these lessons I needed to learn through these experiences that I'm so grateful for. And so yeah, it was interesting that my physical symptoms really kind of came out of the blue after this last experience with that person. And it also helped me realize like when we connect with someone on that intimate level we're exchanging energy sacred energy exchange sex <laughs> and we're gonna exchange energy with them we'll be carrying the energy that they're carrying so that person was going through a really difficult time so i ended up getting a lot of their heavy energy and another thing to be mindful of not even just energetically but we physically exchange microbes with those that we connect with on an intimate level so if you've worked really hard on yourself and manifesting beautiful health for your physical body then it's also great to be mindful of who you're connecting with intimately and to know the level of commitment they have to their health because you're exchanging microbes and it's gonna affect your health, the level that they are at with their health. So energetically, emotionally, physically, it's really important to be mindful. And it's not to say you have to be super, super picky with you know, who you want to date or connect with intimately, like that's all up to you, the level of discernment that you wanna have. But these are just my insights and I hope that they can be helpful for others, especially if 
other women or other people have experienced similar circumstances as me and I just know we can learn a lot from other people's experiences. So just try your best to be protective of your body and your energy and who you allow in because it really does make a difference and it really does affect you. Like I said, I would love to share more videos in the future about my experience and insights and techniques and practices involving sacred sexuality that can help so much in spiritual evolution, kundalini awakening, manifestation, all of that juicy stuff. And yeah, I'm really excited to explore that topic more on here. I feel like it is just such a powerful practice that will really set you on the right path in life because it is such a powerful force and it does not let you mess around or get off track. And it helps you to be more tuned in into your higher guidance. So that's been my experience and it's been incredible. And I do truly believe that it will help me to manifest the reality that I am creating, especially calling in the right partner and the right person to build that specific type of life that I want to create. That's a very unique experience in this modern world, but you know, just living more in alignment with nature, being more self-sustained off grid, growing my own food, um, living somewhere in the tropics with beautiful tropical fruit everywhere, the ocean nearby, and yeah, living off the land and not relying on the system and all of these wonderful aspects that I'm just so excited to experience in my future reality because I can just feel how powerful that reality is gonna be. And I use powerful visualization techniques every single day to call it in. So I already feel like I'm living it. And that's a huge key to actually manifesting it. And this is another topic that I would love to speak on in the future as well. Um, Cause yeah, it's just really exciting. It keeps life exciting when you're excited about the future and you're living in gratitude in the present and you have acceptance for your past and you've taken the wisdom from it and that's just a lot of these golden nuggets I've taken away from my reality that I've experienced in this lifetime so far. So I love sharing all of this with you guys and I hope it's helpful. And I just want to remind you that it's okay to get out of balance, out of harmony. It happens to all of us. I am far from perfect. My skin is still healing. I scar pretty bad when I have breakouts. So you know, I'm left with some scars and those will be healing over time. And I have just so much love and acceptance for my body and its ability to communicate with me and tell me when things are out of harmony. Um, but yeah, the only constant in life is change. There's always gonna be ups and downs. If anytime you're getting out of alignment, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, maybe you wanna get out of bad habits that you keep repeating in your life, you can do it. You can you can get through anything and you can start seeing it as a blessing. Every up and down, every opportunity is here to motivate you to be your best self. It's here to teach you something valuable, either about yourself or about life. So it's just an endless expansive experience that we get to have being here on earth at this time. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. It can be painful, it can be exciting, you know, we get to experience so many different flavors of emotions and that's what we're here to do as humans. We get to experience emotions, we get to experience physical sensations, we get to experience beauty and it's such a trip and I'm delighted to be here with you all. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. It means so much to me. Feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I'll be making more videos more regularly, hopefully, <laughs> if my reality will allow for that. But that's what I am definitely, that's my goal right now is to focus more on YouTube. And um, I, yeah, I have some exciting things coming in the future to share with you all so I'm really excited so stay tuned subscribe check me out on Instagram as well I try to post there most days so if you want to see what I'm up to in life that's where you can stay up to date with me and yeah once again thank you so much for being here I love and appreciate you guys so much it is such a beautiful 
experience to build community of like-minded individuals and to share and to hear from you all so feel free to leave me comments down below and yeah i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day a beautiful wonderful journey of life every single day every day is a new day and i'm sending you so many blessings thank you and i will see you guys in another video very soon bye